All right, so you can see this is Florida. So we're in central Florida. So I'm going to zoom right back in. Okay, I want to show this here. This is all of this area. Like all up through here is considered the green swamp area. All this huge big area there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. And then this, this breaks it down. Up here we have the Rich Sloan Wildlife Management Area. Over here we have the Green Swamp West Wildlife Management Area. Over here we have the Green Swamp Wildlife Management Area. Colt Creek State Park. So all this is, um, all this is, is a really big huge area. It's all considered the Green Swamp Area itself. But then it breaks it down into the different wildlife management areas. So this is where we've been doing our research in the green swamp area. It's a really big, huge area. And we've been, uh, I'm breaking it down a little bit here to, to kind of show you some of the area. So we've been learning to look around some of the, the, like the primitive camp areas where you have to hike into them and around the rivers and the, we're looking for the rivers and the um, like the big swampy cypress heads, cypress swamps and especially the cypress swamps that are with the rivers going through it and the primitive camp areas, areas that are staying cooler So this is areas of Central Florida. This is the area here that we're going into and researching in Central Florida. Now we're just a little ways away from there. We're actually down here. We're kind of down here in between, in between Winter Haven, Lake Wells, and Barta. Actually, is where we live. Down in here, we're like on the outskirts of Winter Haven, a little. A little town that's actually a part of Winter Haven, but um, <clears throat> we come up here. This this is within an hour of our house, and this is where we, we go to do our research. And I go there because we have access to that. We have access to most all that area, and from my hunting experiences and <clears throat> from my hunting experiences from all my life, I know how to. I know the, the laws and and everything as far as going into those places and it's open most of it's all open to the public you can um, sometimes you can't drive in but you can at least walk in okay so this was the the very end of September that we actually started getting in here and doing some research and uh, started really going out hiking looking around checking out some some uh, areas like some camping areas we were learning about camping areas and places where to look as far as the Florida skunk ape and Bigfoot Sasquatch so this is one of the places we went first right here is the green swamp wildlife management area and there's no hunting season here right now at this time so you, you're allowed to walk in. You can walk in and hike. So at this time too, it's pretty warm at this time. Pretty hot, hot here in Florida. And there's no um, there's no hunting yet right here. So they have the gates closed, but they have walking areas where you can walk in. So this was the uh, first area we went in to look around, checking out a camping area. So this is a big map of Green Swamp wildlife management area they have this in there at the uh, check gate where they check animals where you check your game in when you're hunting you have to go in when you're hunting you have to go in here and check in right here and they give you actually a quota permit for the day and then you uh, you go in and hunt 
and if you kill something you have to check it in here and when you leave for the day you have to turn your quota permit back in so I was in here hiking this day and looking around checking out the camping area So this is inside the Green Swamp Wildlife Management Area. Okay, this is the next place we went. This is on the very edge of the Green Swamp Management Area. This is a natural, this is part of the Florida Scenic National Trail. It's a hiking trail. So we went in here and walked and hiked in here and was um, doing some more searching around. And there's actually a, um, a camping area, a primitive camping area up in here too that we didn't quite make it to that day. I wanted to get into there too and search around, but we didn't make it that far. Cause part of this was um, when we first started was going out to places and getting used to the areas. Learning where camping sites were, learning where the um, cypress swamps are looking for the places that would be cooler and get up around in the cypress swamps and the oak hammocks looking for places that are cooler places that the skunk ape would live in because they could keep cooled off a little because it does get pretty hot here so there's one in it and these are just bug suits we have on. We're not, wasn't actually trying to be camouflaged from nothing here. It's cause um, the bug suits keep mosquitoes out. So we use them sometimes and uh, sometimes we use our thermocells. We always carry our, our thermocells for mosquitoes. They work really good. So sometimes the mosquitoes get bad and then sometimes they don't bother you at all. These are water moccasins. So, a bunch of different pictures of them here just so you see what they look like. People call them cotton mouth and they call them water moccasins. So, we have to watch for these when we're out here walking around out in our swamps and out in the grassy areas. So, we have to keep a watch out for these. They're very poisonous. And we also have rattlesnakes here too in Florida. We have to watch for them. Here's a picture of one of the rattlesnakes that I killed a long time ago. So this is some of the areas we were checking out. We were looking for, for tree breaks and structures and footprints and anything like that that we might come across and here in Florida too we do have a lot of storms so that that right here that could have been storm damage we do have a lot of storms here and we have uh, hurricanes come through sometimes and sometimes we see damage from that, from the hurricanes. We see trees that are twisted and blowed down. Okay, it's now 10.30 at night. It's still about 75 degrees outside. And this is showing the tropical storm Nestor is coming across the state of Florida. Here it is in the morning now, it's so 7.49, our power went out twice during the night, around 3.15 it went out for a couple minutes and then around 3.30 it went out for a couple minutes. It's just been raining and light storms coming through all night.
here's something we came across. These were in the shape of an arrow. There's a lizard. Had him a little hiding spot there where he blended in pretty good. Like there's a tree break, a very old tree break. So we were checking out some of these places. There's another tree break right there. Larger tree right here break and then the smaller one over there. And then there's another one broke off there too. So that could have been storm damage or, you know, it's uh, here in Florida, we do have a lot of storms. But we did come across that one spot there that had the arrow. The, the branches were laying there in the shape of an arrow. So this is some of the area we were searching around. So here in Florida we have a lot of wild hogs and they tear up a lot of ground so you have a lot of areas where they uh, have a lot of hog rooting and that's some of the places I look for I get up in there and, and where the ground's tore up and uh, where it's dirt and you can walk around in the dirt and look for tracks. Here's something pretty fresh. There's something pretty fresh right here. There's several hogs been through here. This could have been last night or this morning. A little bit of that right there is fresh. There's a spot I showed a couple times in my videos. The hogs have been out and back out here and rooted up more. There's tracks in it, there's hog tracks in it. There's a couple deer tracks here. And there's some more. A couple more spots right there too where they've rooted up. That was since I've been in here the last time. Looking around some old hog root in here. This was done a long time ago. But here I just found this track. There's a hog track. It's pretty big. something there for comparison. So that whole pretty big. That hog is well over 200 pounds. So I'm always finding hog tracks and deer tracks and raccoon tracks and bobcat tracks and coyote tracks. Here's a coyote track. Those are really common. So this is some unnatural Florida right here, some of the cypress swamp. So this was some of our first video in, back in the 
around the first weekend of October 2019.